Can you see me? <laughs> Keep greeting the people. Hello, my peoples. Oh, my I peoples. Share. Share. Hello, my peoples. It's uh, Mother's Day, Sunday, 1 p.m. Uh, May? May 9th. May 9th. Okay. I think, is it May 9th or May 10th? It's May 10th. Oh, is it? Yeah. Hiya. Sunday, May 10th. And it's Mother's Day, so Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, okay? Happy Mother's Day, Mrs. Thank you. But I'm your wife. Oh, so Mother's Day is for who? For mothers. Okay, we've been told that Mother's Day is for mothers. My kids. Please. Sana. Yeah. Come on, mama. Oh, yeah, because um, Valentine, they are my baby. Okay. Okay, so today... Your mom. Yeah. Let your kids should be with your with your wife. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you have kids. If you have kids. Mm -hmm. So Mother's Day is for mothers. Mm -hmm. Don't confuse it. Today. And and shower your your loved one. Unless you don't have a mom. A mom. Mm -hmm. Um but you can always if you there's have, an auntie. If you have small kids, you can help them. <clears throat> yeah. But when my baby was saying, I could create a little mystery. Mystery. So Mother's Day is for Miss mothers. <laughs> Karen Moraz told you it'd be Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. And she said, oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Karen, it's true. Yeah? Today is for mothers. This one's the Valentine. Yeah. <laughs> so happy Mother's Day for all the moms out there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I think today the topic was abuse. We're going to talk about uh, physical abuse, mental abuse, emotional abuse, all kinds of abuses. So hopefully we'll tackle this and go through uh, the one hour. All right. Welcome. All right. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Happy Mother's Day to all the, um, the moms out there. First of all, can they see us? Can they yeah, see can both see. of us? I see. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Yeah. Um, for those ones who've lost their mom, we are deeply sorry. And in fact, my sister-in-law lost her mother in today. Love today. Mm. So it is a um, very sad day for our family. And if your mom is in the hospital or your mom is sick like my mom, mm -hmm. wish her Happy Mother's Day. And the ones who have already gone to heaven, Happy Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. Uh, we also want to remember the people who are trying to be mothers. Mm -hmm. We keep praying for you. And for those ones who have um, adopted children, some are not biological moms, but mm -hmm. they have adopted children mm -hmm. or they are fostering children. Happy Mother's Day. And for all the aunties and uncles that stand... I mean, not, not aunties. Yes, yes. Any, 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 any aunties also are mothers. in place. Yeah. Of, of your mom. mom. We wish them a happy, happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. So I have seen a lot of people today put a post for their late parents. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's so sad. And at the same time, uh, Facebook has given people a platform to remember their parents through others. And we are praying that uh, you stay strong. Yeah, the single fathers, we are... Father's Day is coming. Actually, yeah. yeah. But even so, for the single fathers, some of them are mothers also. So today's... I no, don't know. get can't interested. Say. No, no, no. no. Let's, uh, we're not going to uh, say that. Keep fathers, everything on their own lanes. Father's Day is coming up. Yes. Let's not but, twist that. Yeah. Yes. Because okay. there's Mother's Day, there's Father's Day. So my name is Penny. This is my husband. I'm Abraham. Mm -hmm. We are not counselors. We're not professionals. We are not um, family therapists. And not marriage counselors. Yes. <laughs> you don't have to subscribe to our personal story because everybody has their or story. Our, our teachings. Or are they whatever. Teachings? No. Mm. We just share our life, how we are making a mess of our own life or how what we are doing. How we made a mess and cleaned it up. We didn't clean it up yet. We are still trying. We are, we are still, still we, are, we are still in the process of cleaning it yes. up. Yeah. So. so um we are raising four children. If you're here for the first time, ages twenty. Twenty one. Twenty one. 18, 15, 15, and 8. And 
and we've been together for 26 years. 26 long years. In county. <laughs> And we decided to be coming to Facebook to talk about our families once a, once a week on Sundays. This is usually after church, but mm -hmm. you know now there's no church. There's quarantine, everybody is at home. And um, today we wanted to talk about abuse. So we, will, we have 47 people right now coming on. Mm -hmm. Please, when you come on, tell us hey, your Perry. experience um, Chuma. about this abuse uh, as... A child growing up yeah. as an adult. Yeah. But I have something to read before we continue. So I'm going to read this. It's just something to help you through your challenges. Mm -hmm. It says, when you're alone, mind your thoughts. When you're alone, mind, mind your, your thoughts. thoughts. Okay. When you're with friends, mind your tongue. Be careful what okay. you say. Mm -hmm. When you're angry, Mind, mind your, your temper. Temper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you're in a group, mind your behavior. Behavior. Okay. Uh, when you're in trouble, mind your emotions. Okay. Mm -hmm. When God starts blessing you, mind your ego. Okay. Those are quotes. These are quotes. Okay. And they're all lined up. Mm -hmm. And they're very good to guide you. When it comes to a lot of things, mm. it's just a few, but it's a summary of almost everything we want to talk mm. about today. Actually, number three, mm -hmm. when angry, mind, mind your, your temper. temper. Yes, that one is very important. Okay, so I want to I want to talk about my story first. Okay, I want to give my personal story, and uh, actually, what prompted us to even talk about abuse was from last week. Last week, yeah, yes. One of the points we were talking about, I think yeah. something came up, and we yes. We, we, we said, okay, let's talk about abuse. Yeah. yeah. So I grew up um, thinking I was abused. Thinking? Yeah. Yes. I was thinking I was abused because... Give those names that your parents used to call you. <laughs> We're going to come up with those names. I used list to be of the called names. <laughs> a donkey, a wounde, your swine, your swine, SSA, uh, the dog... SSA is what? SSA is a dog. Oh, umbwa. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It means uncircumcised. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. um, Which I think we were clarified about that. Yes. By Baba yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, so many other names. In fact, there was a lot of other names that people used to call us. Mm -hmm. But I'm the child that did not like those words from the beginning. From the day that I had them... Mm -hmm. I literally internalized those words. Those are like five, already five words. Oh, there were many. I think you are. Radio fucking. I think you are. Radio fucking is <laughs> bloody FN. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so to me, and, and I'm on a very serious note, mm -hmm. I took this. those yeah. um, words very, very seriously. And every time somebody called me a name, I internalized the name and I'm like, do they have to, to call me this? Mm. Okay. Going back to what we said last week, we start, we are born into our families. And our, our first abuse, emotional, physical, and everything happens within our family. And sometimes we tend to think that the family is supposed to be the, the place where you're supposed to be protected. But in most cases, you find that most of us felt abused mm -hmm. in our families. As much as we don't verbalize it, as much as we don't talk about it. But if you look back, I don't know where you are in your life, in your journey. If you look back, you would think that everything was fine. But where you are today, mm -hmm. there are things that have affected you depending on how you were raised. So the, 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 the words, the things that I say to you. And I was, um, I had a brother call me a prostitute. Did I eat? <laughs> For what? I must have done something. Mm. Or something must have happened because I like to club. Mm. And I was seen maybe in a club. You know? Mm -hmm. So, to me, I didn't even understand what the definition of Lira is. Yeah. The other time I was uh, asking, there's a, another word for Liro. What is that? Liro is another word for prostitute. For kissy. Yeah. So, so mm -hmm. this, this, as a teenager, at around 17, 18... 
because we were you know those clubs we were saying where mm. you, you like to go dance mm -hmm. i used to like the nightclub yeah so for me going to the nightclub to my family i was a prostitute yeah but now and, and it was mm -hmm. it was it was like a given yeah that now you've started prostitution yeah because so yeah. so the, the some of those words yeah was to we, we have to normalize them they were they, normalized. They were normalized. Yes. So when somebody was calling you a punda, they were not really abusing you. It was the word of the day if you're doing something that is not appropriate. Out of anger. They may, they may have been angry. They, that was just the word of the day. Yeah. So um, I'm very sorry you abused. And more so, this <laughs> because, happened to the kids yeah. who were, I the think I was hyper. Yes. They, no. they, the, the ones who didn't listen, the ones who didn't talk or, That's right. or were trying to be against the... the who just didn't do things right. Yes, you were jumping, yes. so, you know, you didn't so, do things... So, so back then, the women who were going to the clubs were prostitutes That's a right. long time ago. Yeah. That was, a, that, that, was, that, was the, that was the... Not the norm, but that was what was Only prostitutes went to the club. Exactly. Regular girls yes, did not yes. go to the so, club. And... and, and there were women who were going to the club mm -hmm. and who were drinking who were not prostitutes. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, during those days, mm -hmm. that, wa that, that was the norm. The women who were going there are prostitutes. So if you go to that place, you will be called that name. Yeah. So, that, so they were not really abusing you. Yeah. They were just telling you, okay, and Uko, you are part of that group. Yeah. 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 So I think, I think we're going to talk about uh, physical abuse. Emotional abuse. Mm -hmm. I think you have the you have the list here. Yeah? Uh, verbal abuse. So that's that's number one. That's the verbal abuse. And then, how did it turn out? Some people may internalize the, the whole thing and end up getting hurt. Some people understood that that's just a word that my parents are using. So that's the point I was yes. going to make. You went ahead of yeah. myself. So thank you, uh, Alfu. Thank you. Um, for me. I internalized everything that was said to me. Mm -hmm. So how I turned out, when I turned 18 years old, I left my home. Mm -hmm. When I got my ID, I, I felt like I was very abused and I left my home. Mm -hmm. And I went to my You aunt. felt yes. or you thought. And, and you felt and you thought. But you I even abused. knew, yeah. like I'm being abused. Yeah. So I left. When I got my ID, I left my parents' home and went to my, my mom's sister. Mm -hmm because I felt like my mother was being very abusive. Mm -hmm. And you know what I was doing is all the things she didn't want me to do. Yes. So yes. fast forward, when I came to this country, I found that the Americans like to use the F1. Yeah, that's, it's, that's part of their, it's, it's been it's part of their culture. Desensitized. Yeah, it doesn't even have <laughs> meaning. Yeah. So, and, and it's even born again, mm -hmm. you know, like we are in charge yes. and even born they will again, use the F1. they will yeah. use the F1. Yeah. So how this happened, to, how this really, I, I just wanted to give my personal story because mm -hmm. I feel this is very personal for mm -hmm. me. How it affected me, I'm not able to have a conversation with anyone that uses the F1. So I end up missing out. Mm -hmm. I literally miss out on any conversation that the F1 Because when use. somebody uses that, you walk away. I walk away. Yes. Okay. And mm -hmm. I was going to just want to tell you, yeah. if anybody, they, they may hold this cup and they drop it and they'll use the F word. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Because that to them is... It's a normal word. It's a word. normal, yeah. So, the way you say Owe... Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yes. The way we were called Punda, mm -hmm. the way we were called... Uh, uh, punda, punda li ah. So... Ukiitwa Punda, yeah. ina manisha uski manen. Uski, of course. Punda, mm. punda li kuwa... It's a yeah. stupid animal. It was they only are, used. Assumed. It was only used. And is like... It was only used for kubeba vitu. Mm. No, no. So kitwa punda, where him to useless kabisa. Yeah. <laughs> so I just wanted to. This is real personal mm. for me. So fast so ve forward. Vent, vent it out. Not vent it out. I, t I tell everybody who becomes my friend. Even you, there is no way you can abuse me. I mm. knew that. Mm. There is no way you're going to use an abusive word to me, mm. and I take it. Mm. Because I'm already injured. Mm. So fast forward, when I came here, the word is normalized. And I'm so, like, a, a, like I can say, highly allergic to the word because mm. I grew up with a lot of these words. So now, for me, at 47 years old, mm. I'm still not able to process and accept the F word. I don't know what anybody is going to convince me. So I have scars that are there for life. Mm. And that is just my story. Now... 
when it comes to relationships, mm -hmm. me and you are having an argument, mm -hmm. and then you F me, or you call me stupid, or um, uh, the the worst in marriages I've had mm -hmm. is uh, a woman, me, telling you that your manhood is very small. Mm -hmm. It is really tiny. Mm -hmm. And you telling me that my private part is very wide. <laughs> it's like Mutaro. <laughs> that is the, you widen the, the female the part. <laughs> yes, you widen the female part. You make the male part small. Mm -hmm. So you use private parts to abuse. Yes, I'm highly allergic. I just can't. So, you see, I've, I've taken so much time to, to say my story. Mm -hmm. Words to heart. And back then, it was a combination of that and physical hitting. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just those words. Yeah. Thank God I used to run. I was able to run. I ran away most of Otherwise, the time. Otherwise, I could have been beaten. So, okay. so, so that's, that's the verbal abuse? Yes. Combined with that? Childhood, physical abuse. Childhood, coming to as an adult. Yes. Okay. Not all of us, like for you now, all the words you are called didn't mean anything. And then here's another thing. Mm -hmm. If I can talk of, uh, for myself, the, the mm -hmm. verbal abuse was not there. Mm -hmm. The 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 physical abuse. If you look at it from from uh, this from the point of view right now, mm -hmm. it may have looked like you're being abused physically but that was the norm of being disciplined so it's that like now you spanking your kids yes now. so now we don't spank our kids maybe we just ah you don't no i'm talking about in, in general ah. we, we still spank <laughs> ours so um in in my home state my dad was the spanker Disciplinarian. yeah mm. so my mom could just say a few words and that's it my dad akikuja akupati you've not done your homework so many things the spanking was there with a belt Okay. And he will start. And he will remove the belt and pop. Yeah. Mm. But that was, looking back now, there, that was, if, I, if you ask me, it was not, it was not an abuse mm. because he was spanking you because you've done something wrong mm -hmm. to bring you back, to mm. back online. Mm -hmm. I think abuse is when a parent comes and will hit you physically mm. for no reason. Or maybe you've done something. But physically hit, if I hit you mm -hmm. as, a, as a parent, hit the, hit the kid, mm -hmm. then that's abuse. Mm -hmm. My dad was taking a belt. Now, if you try to fight him or anything, he can push you on the side. Because most of the time, the, I mean, it was probably at that time we were smaller and he's bigger. So he, will, he, will, he could control you and spank you with the belt. Mm -hmm. So I believe that's not, that's not abuse. So I think we need to differentiate where people are being disciplined and we turn that okay. And actual abuse. You, did you turn out okay? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, believe we go <laughs> <laughs> And even you, you what will, is, you what will is tell you. Out okay. Okay, is at least you're, you're, you're able to produce more kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Okay. Some okay. of the words um, that our most parents even now say is uh, you'll never amount to anything. Yeah. You never amount to it. That one is very, very strong. Yes. Yeah. And not too long ago, we saw a video of a guy from, was it Zambia? Beating his son. Yeah, let's talk about that video real quick. I think a lot of people watched the video. Uh, it was this guy who must have been in Zambia. The kid had, um, had failed, mm -hmm. I think, failed the mm -hmm. final exams. And this was an international school where the guy was paying a lot of I money. I think it... Well, it, the, the bill was like 20,000 US dollars yeah. for the semester or for the year. Yeah. And the kid failed. And this guy was mad. And he was. He beat the child. He was literally slapping the kid. And the mom was trying to say, hey, stop, stop, stop. Now, that, 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 there's an abuse there because the man is so angry after spending so much money and the kid is failing. I think the element of one of the things you talked about was when you're, when you're here, yeah, temper. Mm -hmm. Okay, when you are when, when you are angry, mind your temper. I think the guy at that time was so angry of what happened, but he ended up abusing the kid. So that's abuse right there. That's the one we already talked about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that 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 one. I think I agree. That was abuse. He should have just calmed down. Yes, you spend all. You're the one who chose to take the kid to that school. Even if it's twenty thousand dollars a month, you're the one who chose to take the kid. 
But do you think it could have been uh, okay if he gave him four kings? He, he would have done, yeah. Spanking. Spanking. Direct. Spanking. But now when he's talking, abusing the kid verbally, abusing the kid physically, I think that was wrong. Mm. I mean, I'm not judging him. You spent $20,000. But to me, if I decide to take my kid to a private school that is so expensive, if they fail, that was my choice. Because mm. you can't control their brain. Mm -hmm. You can control your money and yeah. decide if you think it's not worth don't take them there. Okay. Becky said, mm -hmm. words do hurt, especially if that's your love language. Words matter mm -hmm. in relationships based on um, words that, you know, the things you say to somebody. Yeah. Because um, especially when you start using your height, mm. your body, whatever, mm -hmm. To abuse your spouse, those words ring in the person's head over and over. But I think by the time you're getting to that point where you're abusing each other like that, I think it's you're pretty much done. Let me tell you. You can't be doing that and then the next day you're all lovey dovey. No, let me tell yeah. you. So, so I think you, I, you know, you turned out okay. That's why you're thinking like that. Yeah, because, for you, uh, you turned out really okay because you don't see how you're going to abuse somebody today that when in Taro. <laughs> And you're in that mtaro. Yeah. No. <laughs> and the next day you want to go to the mtaro. So <laughs> that's for what you, I'm saying. Yeah. for you, that is that's good reasoning. You're not going to abuse someone today, and mm. then tomorrow you want intimacy from them. So some people that abuse that was given uh, by the that was done by the parents, which to me you sound like you you are, you kind of felt it was not so bad. It mm. was kind of normal because mm. it was just normalized. Yeah. It's carried on to marriages. It's carried on to uh, work places of work. So there are people who abuse like that and, and it's normal. It's you have normal. normalized it. Yes. Okay. So now you abuse your spouse and then uh, the next day is like nothing happened. Mm. Physical attributes to... Physical attributes to put... To put others, others down. down. Yes, please come out. Yeah. Mm. So... This abuse we are talking about is has been made to be normal. Mm. Where you, you tell your spouse you're useless. I cast you out. You will never amount to anything. Mm. You, you this, you this, you that. Believe me, when you hear those words, you remember your parents. Mm. And then you are discouraged. Because these are, these are the people that you love that are supposed to encourage you to be a better person. They are, they are supposed to be your cheer. Cheerleaders, yes, yeah. mm. but because it was normalized, yeah. you think it's okay. One of my co workers used to say, uh, give me a story about her daughter, and in every sentence, she put the F word. Yeah, so eh, me, I'm like, and she's called, and actually, she's, she's my even <laughs> praising the daughter. <laughs> she can, my F daughter did so yeah. F well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that's a yeah, this so lady used to put her daughter down. And that daughter did not turn out okay. Mm -hmm. The words that used to come out from that lady's mouth about her child, and mm -hmm. I met her when her daughter was like seven. She did not speak life to that child. Mm -hmm. And that child ended up having a baby at a, at a very early age. And the child did not really become anything. Because yeah. the mother used to keep saying, you'll never be anything. Never amount to Yeah. Anything. Your yes. friends are going to go to college. You'll never make it to college. So... Some of these things we say to people, some of these things we say to our spouses, they are, they are repeated so many times mm. until the person is not able to think mm. positive because mm. you repeat the same thing. You yes. will do this, you will do this. So, yeah, nothing... so at least, yeah, guys, it, it's very important what, what, how and what you speak to your kids. Mm -hmm. So you'll end up, whatever, if you, if you keep repeating the same, same thing again, mm -hmm. eventually you, you do... Um, end up making them go to that part, part of the life that you're, that you're talking about. So I think it's important every time you have to say positive things. Keep it's on saying easy. positive. Yeah, it's not easy, but keep on. At a come on my course, just something positive. The same because, way we praise the kids when they're about to walk. Yeah, you tell them you're doing exactly. A good job. Especially when the kids are young. Yeah. Nobody, nobody says anything bad to the little kids when they're young. Yeah. They're, 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 they're learning to walk. Oh, Everybody good loves job, the good babies. Good job. Good yeah. job. Good job. Good job. That needs to be carried all the way mm -hmm. because once they get to that point where now they start to annoy you because when they're young, they can't annoy you. Yeah. When they start now annoying you, you need to remember to keep praising them. 
Mm-hmm. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. So very important. Words are very important. Ross is saying that abuse is one major challenge faced by women, especially besides illiteracy, workload, and lack of opportunities. You oh, know, mm-hmm. besides uh, the family abuse, besides the the friends abuse, whatever abuse you've gone through, mm-hmm. even places of work, they they are they are abusive to women. Or some mm. some Kenya is even more I think more notorious. Although even here it's there, where a woman will be denied a job because she's a woman. Yeah, I mean it's there. Those yeah. those are. I mean that's how the Me Too movement came out. Yeah, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. there's always kind of, any kind of sexual harassment mm-hmm. at work, which mm-hmm. now will prevent the women from advancing or moving on. So mm-hmm. that's that is something that is being it's bigger than us. It's being tackled all over the world. Yeah. But at least we know it's there. Liz yeah. is saying we should speak life to our children. Yes. That Thank is you, very, Liz. very important. Mm-hmm. But during my time... <laughs> our parents didn't know any better. During my time... Our parents didn't. Our parents <laughs> used negative... To encourage. Uh, yeah. Yes. Negative uh, reinforcement mm-hmm. to encourage you. Mm-hmm. There was nothing like positive reinforcement. Yeah. Now, we are raising children... That one negative thing, you've lost your child. It will, it will affect it. Uh, it will affect it. Because they internalize. Mm. I think now I was the first generation to start internalizing abuse. Because I'm thinking, like, why would somebody say something like that? Now, our kids now, if you say something, it sticks in their head. Yeah. And they think about it. They're like, really? Did mommy say that? Because there, there's there's so many things in the world right now. And, mm. and our kids are growing up in a society where information is everywhere. Mm. So... You have really to speak positive things to them mm. because for Sema Ivo, the teacher is there. They go to the teachers, the teachers will tell them, Oh, you're all, and they start comparing the teachers and, and, and us. Mm. During our time, it was the same. The teacher will even tell you the same thing your, your parents are telling you. Yes. They, if they speak but negative, now it's and that, the other way. that was the only way that they would encourage us. So yes. it's uh, important. Um... Rose is making a very good point, and this is very, very common. Oh, God, it's even make my heart sink. Mm-hmm. So now I'm married to you. It's, it's financial abuse mm-hmm. for women. Ushkilia. Yeah. No, Ushkilia me, I work. Me, I work. <laughs> but you take all my money. And oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Me, I don't have a say. Whatever money I earn belongs to you. Mm. I still, I don't know what generation. That one is still that. there? <laughs> That's what I was gonna ask. That one is like a dinosaur. I think there are people who are the, born in the 60s. I was gonna say that's a dinosaur age, but um, 60s and 70s. Oh, we are 69. 69 born and 70. Yeah, but because you're, you're probably raised with a, a dad that uh, uh, practice the Christian living, yeah. where your wife's income, you don't take everything from your wife. Financial abuse, where a woman makes money and it's gone, literally. That, that is... I know people that do that. Okay. That, that is abuse. You know what that is? Yeah. That, that is slavery. Yeah, it's Because going on. if you're working mm. and then you... But, okay, are you are you giving the money and then it's distributed out equally or what, what's No, what's they just on? control the money. They take the money, they are the ones who decide what to do. Maybe with maybe this was, they don't, they don't know how to spend the money. They will spend uh, the everything. Wife, the wife is Maybe that's why. Yeah. yeah. So the, the, no, the, the she, husband I says, she's saying you the, bring, bring the money, eh. then we will plan. No, there's no we will plan. A woman works and the man, I know a few people, a woman works and the man takes the whole paycheck. Aye. That's financial abuse. Yeah. Yeah. And it's still going on. You're new cologne. Yes. <laughs> and uh, for yeah, our generation, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I want to expand that briefly. For, for for me and you, we figured a joint account was workable. I want to touch on that quickly. Mm. But for other couples, joint account doesn't work because of the point you want to make that the woman was extravagant or yeah. the man was extravagant. Yes. But at the end of the day, I think it is important that a, a family, a husband and wife, be intentional and sit on, on a table the way we are sitting like this. Mm-hmm. And decide how are you going to budget whatever money that you, you have. Because if I'm keeping my money, you're keeping your money. In times of crisis, like now me and you are in crisis. The crisis here is COVID hit. My mom is sick. I'm not able to work. I've stayed home for going to two months now. Mm. So now if I've been 
eating all the money or if I, you know, like, I have nothing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, something has happened. Now I can't work. Mm-hmm. You understand? Like, COVID really affected a lot of people. So now, if you've not been planning your money and you don't have anything put on the side for your emergency fund yeah. or the things, all my bills that I used to pay, two months now, I have zero income. So, do you see where a problem is going to come up, where a natural disaster has yeah. struck? Yeah, but I mean, that's us. So, some people, I mean... No, whichever way. Want, that's yeah. why I said, whichever yeah. way that the couples want to manage their money, it is not good to take money from one person and, and, and take everything. And you don't even know where that everything is. Exactly. So, that's... The, yeah. If, uh, if, if the... If you if the person is giving the money yeah. and they have no access to the money, yeah. they have no control of the money, yeah. then that's that's a, I want to say that's abuse. Yeah, because unless if, unless they are so bad like kids mm-hmm. that they have to be controlled. Yes, kuna, they are those who are like maybe kids. that's why. Yeah, but they, they I think it's good for people to be intentional when it comes to this financial abuse mm-hmm. to decide how are we going to plan our money. Don't just keep living because if you keep living, COVID is going to hit. This is just COVID. If it's not COVID, your spouse can die. Mm-hmm. If it's not a death, your spouse can be sick. Or you can lose your job. So financial accountability is important. But if you're abusing somebody financially, if something happens to the man who's been taking all the woman's money, mm-hmm. and in some cases, remember we spoke about being legally married. If I'm not legally married to you, you know how people have come we stay, and if all the money is on your name, I'm not yep. able to access that Once I'm money. gone, that's it. It's over. <laughs> yeah, and now it's, a, it's an in-law situation <laughs> because I'm not legally married to you. Mm. And who's suffering in the process is the children. So I didn't need to... I went out of discussion a little, but... Yeah, but that's, that was news. That, that's news to me, financial abuse where the woman is. All the money what is about, taken. What about on the man's side? It's possible also. If I'm eating all the money... No, yeah, I'm, I'm going to work. I'm making all the money. And I'm eating and, all the money. And you're eating all... Not even that. You're telling me... I think I've heard of that. Mm. Bring... Where's the paycheck? Mm. Then you give the paycheck mm. and you're giving your little one on the side. That's mm. abuse right there. Mm. That's abuse. Okay. Um, As he said... Uh, what is what, uh, I think, uh, what Abu is talking about um, is abuse. As me, I agree with you. That beating... Mm, which one? The the spanking that the belts and all that. Ah, stuff, that yeah. belt made a straight one. Uh, that was not... positive, negative <laughs> rewards. Yeah. I mean, um, even 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 in school, corporal punishment was there. I think later on, by the time us we left school, they stopped that. Mm. So, I think that was a norm during our days. So I don't I don't want to call it abuse. You're just, it was tough. I mean, they would really hammer you on your pa- on your on your back on the behind side. And it was painful. But now, that's all they knew at that time. So I think now they know, hey, you can actually hurt somebody uh, physically. In fact, that's what he tried to yeah. tell you. He tried to tell you that it's because our parents didn't know any better. Yeah, they that didn't know. That was abuse. Do you it know other abuse. children were damaged from that beating? Damaged mentally? Emotionally. Yeah, yeah emotionally. Some yeah, people some are married people. to emotionally abused yeah. people. And they're abusing their spouses. They're abusing their children. Don't think that those things... And some, and some actually from that mm-hmm. ended up being more physical on, on their relationships once they got married. Yeah, they... Because that's all they know. the wife. Yeah. Yeah, because... And these men who used to beat the kids, they used to beat the mothers too. <laughs> you know what there I mean? There you go, yeah. Yeah, physical abuse. Physical abuse. And I was reading an article uh, yesterday that... I think this morning that mm. domestic violence has gone up. Because of the quarantine. Yeah. Yeah. But Why? It's because, because uh, now when people are angry, they are not able to mind their temper. Yes, because you just say anything. Because mm-hmm. now everybody mm-hmm. is in one space. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. nobody's going to work. Mm-hmm. If I'm, if you're going to work, and you have to come back in Kenya by seven o'clock. You have to be back in the house. Yeah. So now people are interacting more. So there's bound to be more issues because yeah. now you're interacting with your kids. Yes. You're interacting with your wife. Mm-hmm. All the problems are going to come out right now. Mm-hmm. And then some people, if they can't control the temper. So even here in the U.S., they reported more cases of domestic abuse. The phone calls going to, into the police station are for domestic abuse. Yeah, Because nobody, uh, nobody is uh, reporting that somebody is stealing. Mm-hmm. Nobody is at home. Yeah. Yeah. So. so I want to make a point here. All of us who are employed, if you're employed... Me- 
sorry she just etiabu alitumia belt okay ulit si belt ni kuchapwa yeah belt the belt was just the belt was there for the buckles okay yeah i want to interge- i want to put in a, a a a very important point here for all of us who have ever been employed if you have a job mm. in your place of work you have policies and procedures in your place of work we have rules and regulations in your place of work you get positive and negative feedbacks you are given mm-hmm. uh, you are told your job performance yeah i find it so strange that a lot of us we are very very good at our places of work we are very very good at our communities for those ones who are leaders in, mm-hmm. in the community mm-hmm. I find it very strange that you and your friends when I hear you talking to your friends or you're talking to your colleagues anything we do outside of the home you're very well contained calm mm-hmm. and disciplined mm-hmm. a few of us fight at work mm-hmm. so we get fired a few of us uh call a late or, or always late or end up abusing work. or abusing our bosses yes mm-hmm. a few of us uh don't call at place of work to say i'm running late mm. there are so many things we do at our places of work but we cannot do these things at home it is the reason that there is a lot of domestic violence at home mm. if you're stepping out to go have a drink with your friends all you have to do now we have cell phones those days we had landline mm. is to call me and say penny i'm running late I'll be out. Mm. You okay. When you're angry, when you're at your place of work, you don't eff you the boss. You think twice. You can even go drink water mm. and you walk away. Mm. Okay? When you're talking to your co-workers at the lunch break, you know there there are boundaries that the company has put in place. Mm. Somebody sat down and drafted the policies and procedures for those of an organization to run. So we can run an organization very well we can run a friend a, a group to a very well we can run a lot of things mm-hmm. very well in the whatsapp groups but when we get to our homes we become wild animals and there is nothing as painful as being the best person out in the community but in your home you're beating your wife mm-hmm. you're abusing your husband you're abusing your children you're like a wrestler you're not coming home for two days no call no show okay you are not making sure your family has eaten i see that people value their jobs more than they value their families yeah. and you're not thinking that you begin life and you end your life with your family when you're born a baby is born into the family mm. okay when you die your co-workers that you've been disciplined for okay your your friends that you've been drinking with okay are not going to come mm. and and plan your funeral mm. they can send us a little money but they are not going to be the people that are going to be there when you break your one leg mm. they are not the people who are going to be there when you're in the hospital they cannot call the hospital and get the report the hospital will not honor your friends to give unless you've written them mm. as next of kin so i find that a lot of us invest more so the people who are called community leaders or you men who, you know it's, it's common with men you give the outside world more more mm-hmm. than you give your family yeah. <laughs> you understand you want everybody to know how well you're doing you want every, every uh, this mcas mps i know people who are who have big positions that i know personally i know the wife or i know the kids they don't have time for these people mm. they, uh, when they come home they are angry but when they are outside of the home they put up a face yeah so they put up a show they put no they are willing to discipline themselves yeah abu you cannot but, abuse your yes. your your boss yeah. but you want to abuse but again him. because when you are at work that is the breadwinner that's that's where so why are you winning the bread yeah, for for the for the family the family that yeah. you are abusing so that's why yeah but i'm just i'm just i'm i'm trying to see i just want to make yes. that point yeah so on that on the other side that's your job yeah so you cannot bite the hand that feeds you or this yeah. this family yes. of yours in the home me your wife and your kids i'm just saying yeah, you are going you, to feed yeah, us i'm giving you the reason why 
most of these people, men <laughs> would do that. Would you name it? Uzama. Vipi abu na grandpa abu. They are, they, are, they are giving you the yes the cheddar the cheddar yes this cheddar you're bringing it to people you're abusing that's a problem now so you you need to balance it you need to balance so, if you can discipline yourself to bring the cheddar mm, when you get to the yourself, house yeah yes i'm just saying the reason why they will go the extra mile mm-hmm. at work mm-hmm. and control their temper mm-hmm. that's where they get that's where they're making a living from okay mm-hmm. at home you when the temper comes they'll look around like okay nobody's paying me here i might as well release all the steam so i'm just but saying remember they're the ones who are making the yes, for you now yes. i want to get personal here in fact i think i've asked you this off camera but you can tell me mm. of course you know i used to be abused and all those things because i was really you know <laughs> troublesome so mm. when i push your buttons because you know in kisi we say mokarakalia Umukarakali is, is a kid that touching is touching everything. everything. Yeah. yeah. So you can imagine that's how I used to get spanked. Now as a wife, all these years, I still, you know, I'm but that's, so when I push so the you, reason, when when every time I'm coming, yeah. the reason for my abuse was the overkarakali mm. is is ta- being you wanna touch everything. everything. I wanna touch so everything. So yeah. So now you're lucky. You married me. Who else? I'm like not even lucky. Everything. I want. <laughs> So it balances out. As you're touching, I'm also touching. So there's no time. It's the same thing oh. for me. I was touching everything. You have a problem. Oh god. I guess so, then that's how we are getting along. Yeah, otherwise, ah, mm-hmm. one, one of us would have been gone a long time ago. I didn't on song go hi mother's day, hi abu. Well, my yani oto osiongea sana. Kuna mtu amekuita from the sun. Eh? Una oh So so that side works. Oh, so that has been the way you're coping. Yep. Oh, it's not like you are it's not like there was a make it. <laughs> I, I, I saw I saw Kathy. Is Kathy still here? Oh, your Kathy. Yes, yeah, my Kathy. So yeah. yeah, so even me growing up, I wanted to touch everything. Yeah. So I was the one who was who ended up getting the most beating. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh the verbal abuse once in a while. It was, it was not that so much in our house. That, frankly speaking, the, once in a while there will be a verbal abuse. But, but a very, one. It was yeah, one. like ngombe. Yeah. I think there was. I think ngombe. Ngombe. <laughs> eh, eh. In in in, in cow. It's like ngombe no kaba. Ngombe kujapa. Eh. And I think I remember maybe my mom used that one time because because my mom was both our parents were Christian mm. and they stunt Christian so uh-huh. the verbal abuse was not there it was minimal yeah. even if and, it was and, there it was and very the mild. physical mm. it, it was even planned like my mom would not oh you you know what your dad my, told me yeah, my mom would not my mom would yes, my mom would not beat us that's that's how we were yeah. we would do all the crazy things and she would just say god yeah, god yeah, god mzee yeah. akuje that said and, used to lock the door yeah and when that comes <laughs> so mom doesn't save yeah. me inside lock the door and pop and too. then my mom will be outside hey for god lord <laughs> so um maybe that's how is he saying i was hyperactive i really thought you had a well, way to so deal you, with me yeah, yeah. You, you know if you were, if you had been in the us you yeah. would have been on medication i yes the one to to calm me down to calm you down yeah, yeah. so that's how i got into the so same much. thing with me i was oh. i i remember here's one of the things that i used to do mm-hmm. any new item coming in the house mm. in terms of electronics i would open them mm. that was me mm. the vcr i had to open it and see how it's working mm. so i ended up getting in trouble because i would start something and mess it up yeah and getting all the i took i, I think i took all the beatings for, for all the other that is you're very lucky uh some of us verbal abuse was a uh, an annoying our house annoying our house yeah. very nice yes and uh Lillian said I should shave you tell Lillian you on factory setting. Oh, uh, I'm on factory setting now yes. right now. Mm. Reset. Ah, I I really think she should be called Tumbili and she loved it. Yeah. She used to be <laughs> Tumbili. called Tumbili. Tumbili That's is a monkey. a monkey. Yeah. Tumbili that was a bad. <laughs> <laughs> that was a Irene on song or Tumbili I loved it. Yeah. Well, oh Lillian I'll tag you next time. Mm. But but for me, oh I thought I was really wanted to ask. So that means you can't help. I wanted to ask how you cope with uh, when I'm upsetting you. What yeah, you so that so that was one that so, I said yeah. it was easier because, because we, are, we balance out. And also, yeah. That's for me. Most of the time I'll just go. 
If yeah. you are, yeah, I'm getting are you whatever. carrying an ah, I will, I will go. Yeah. I'll, I'll take a walk. I can go to the golf course and, and hit some balls. Mm -hmm. that, that's when I'm, I'm removing all that. So I think um, one you way... Remove yourself. Yeah, remove mm -hmm. yourself from that situation. Mm -hmm. Because if you, keep, if you stay there, mm -hmm. somebody's going to snap. Yeah. We're all human beings. Yeah. So I think that's how um, myself, how I handle any, 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 any issues that are coming up. But, uh, and again, people say cambas are very calm. So we're also I don't calm. Know about that. We're also calm. This, this kiss is... <laughs> for me, what has worked for I think me, if I was like, you see, there would have been fires here. Yeah. There would have not fireworks. been marriage, maybe, if you are doing fireworks. Yeah. I think it varies from person to person. But for me, well, that's a cliche, right? for me, I want to say, and this is why I want to recommend a family, a family therapist yeah. or counseling. Mm. I want to say, uh, because I worked with people with disabilities for a long time, mm. and I've... I've um, taking my time to study about mental health. I think um, what has worked for me when I'm upset is redirecting myself. But this redirecting, I just don't do it. It's a process. Mm -hmm. There is a person within me that is always talking to me. I have been trained to redirect an angry person until they relax. From your, uh, at that your is job, my yeah. job. Mm -hmm to make sure that I get you from 10 to zero until we have a good day. So anytime I, somebody gets upset, naturally it comes mm -hmm. into my mind that I need to de-escalate the situation. The situation. <clears throat> That's the first thing. Yeah. So I recommend that Kenyans start because Americans are born into using therapy. therapists. Yes. I, um, I've even considered in some cases where... Uh, me and the kids are going back and forth. I have never done family uh, therapy, like where we go to group therapy. Mm -hmm. But every now and then, I have been to a point where I feel like we need a, a, a group need therapy. Need a group therapy. Yes. For the simple reason that we are Kenyans and we are raising American children, sometimes we are not able to meet halfway. Because the things I'm really saying no to are really things that are not, are, are not supposed to be saying no, but I'm saying no. Mm -hmm. And, and in, in a way... I can come out to my kids that I'm abusive, mm -hmm. like denying them things that are basic things. But for me, because I'm Kenyan, I'm thinking that this is not acceptable. Yeah. Because uh, abuse is not only just verbal, also keeping kids or, or, or denying kids basic things, the kids can process that as abuse. Don't think that if you're not hitting the kids, if you're not uh, um, uh, physically hitting them or saying things to them that you're not abusing them. Uh, re denying your children things sometimes could come out as abuse. But uh, if, if I can interject real quick, yeah. that, that is the hardest part, especially, especially for us here in the U.S. Mm -hmm. as parents, because we grew up mm -hmm. knowing that sometimes you ask for something that is so basic and your dad or your parents will say no to it. Yeah. And it was okay. Yeah. And some of it they were saying no, not because they didn't have the money. Yeah. To them, it was just... You have to say no to some things. They, they thought you cannot overshower your kids. Because that's a, that, a flip or, side to that yes. is if you overshower the children, then they, they don't have the yes, drive. Yes, You need yes. to deny and that, and for that them was, to have the drive. And that was, I think that was the, the most of the parents were doing that mm -hmm. so that you can actually mm -hmm. so you have that drive. Yeah. Now here, some kids will ask you for something so basic and in your mind, you, you switch and start thinking like your parents, you know, you'll say no. For no good reason. And there was a video that I shared the other day uh, in a WhatsApp group where this kid had asked for a remote, not remote, the, the game. Car, the car. Uh -huh. No, the, mm. the, the one to play the games. I think it was a Fortnite. The mm -hmm. controller, the game controller. Mm -hmm. And he had asked for it for a long time. Eventually he was told you have to work so hard and do so many things. This was a, this was a, 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 a white American. Eventually the kid got the controller after doing so many things. Yeah. But then the kid broke that controller. Immediately. After like two <clears throat> after like two days. Yeah. Do you know the kid now knew that I had he, he, they had gone through three a months long process, a long yeah. process to get that controller. Yeah. That there was no way he was gonna go through that process again. Yeah. He hanged himself. The a little mm -hmm. boy, I think eight years old. That's that's how they're processing it. That the the dad the dad 
I, I think the dad just said, oh, you can't. He earned you can't, it. He you earned have to it. earn something. Yeah. So he earned it. And then it broke. Mm. Ah. And it was so much for the little kid that there was no way to go back to the parent and say, oh, I broke that thing. Oh, okay. It's another three months mm. of you earning it. So little things like those, mm. uh, to us, that, that's petty. But they ended up costing You make a very good point. And a little kid's life. You make a very good point. Mm. And Lillian uh, said that her, the oldest children, I think I want to put that to what she's saying. Mm. The oldest children suffer the most abuse, if we want to call it abuse, compared to the younger children yeah. because we they are disciplined more. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the, the birth orders, there's a book called Birth Orders. If you look at the birth orders, it, it affects how the child turns out because the little kids are, are raised with more leniency, mm -hmm. more so the birth order does play a role. Yes, yes, yes. And the younger they are, mm -hmm. compared to the older ones, by that time, even you as a parent, you have grown older. So... You are you're more calm. You are you are more calm and, and you're you in the stage of saying let it just slide. Actually, uh, let it just all slide. these children yeah. Yeah, both who are and wrong. we have an example in ours right now. Yeah. Our oldest one, he keeps reminding us, Oh, I didn't do this. Like when I was watching that TV, age. yes. Or, Why? Uh, mm -hmm. Ryan is getting away with A, B, C, and D. It yeah. never ends. Yeah. So Lillian makes abuse. another point. Mm -hmm. Um I have adjusted how she's uh disciplining her children. She took uh logic class that was offered by the by logic class to parents by my kids school mm -hmm. she took a logic class that was offered by her children's school this is the the big point that yes. i wanted to make professional uh, health yes mm -hmm. today we are just speaking as parents but i'm speaking as a caregiver as a professional that works with people with uh, mental health issues mm -hmm. it has changed my life i can tell you today when I say success, I feel very, very successful in terms of emotion, in terms of the way I'm raising my children. Not because I know it, it's because I, I work in that field where I have been trained, I have notes, and I take these notes and I bring it to my... And my apply home, it at apply home, it. yes. We have the behavior plans, mm. we have the rewarding system, we have the redirecting, we have the uh, positive reinforcement, we have the negative things. And you know that uh, th those classes, they will change your life. Mm, Lillian said it's called love and logic class. class. Okay. I don't know where it can be love found. Love and logic class. But Lillian, you came at, at the right time when I, we were making the, the last point that I wanted to make for um, most parents. Even if you're in Kenya, if mm. you're in Kenya, uh, please get in touch with me. It is about time that us African parents start using these uh, services. professional services, yes. professional help. Some of us have health insurance that covers uh, family group therapy. Some of us have insurance that even covers these people coming into your home mm. to see how you're, you're, you're functioning. Mental health is so big. You don't have to be physically disabled or you don't have to be uh, like on a wheelchair mm. or you can't walk for you to to get the services. The brain is, is, when you're hitting people, when you cannot handle your anger, the brain is a big, is, is a small part of the, the, the body, mm. but it is everything. How no, you direct I was yourself. Say, most, most, most of us as Africans, mm. everything is duakali. Not duakali and means. I want us to move from that. Yes. In fact, that so is the is biggest duakali. point everything, I wanted to make today. Everything we learn. We need to seek yes. professional help because if a surgeon, a surgeon goes to school so they can operate on you, yes. A person who makes the car goes to... to, to mechanic school. Mechanic school yeah, to fix true. the car. Mm. An engineer like you, mm. those things you do, you know when I look at your job, I'm just even wondering what you're doing. Mm. You went to school for that. Mm. We go to school for everything. If we are going to school for everything, we should also go to school for, for mental for health, fam mm. family therapy. Yes. We should go to school. We should be intentional about our family. Or read books. Yeah, Read books some people are not it, even yeah. patient. Like Lillian is saying, that class is is, is online. Yes. Even me, Lillian, I'm going to browse. I've yes, never seen that. For I, I I should look. That's true. Lillian. These people go to school. These people have PhDs. They've studied the mind. They've studied human behavior. Therapists are there to help you. The way when your car stops on the highway, you get a tow truck, and you take it to the mechanic, and they fix it. Okay. Mm. When your roof is broken you know like he's leaking call the roofers you can you call the roofers <laughs> when your windows break you call the people to fix the windows 
we are calling everyone we are behaving at work we are doing everything we are doing to fix everything else but we are not calling family therapists we are not calling counselors try to get professional help don't think that uh, therapy is mm. for certain people therapy mm. is not just for certain people therapy is for all of us and you see we are here seated talking covid has taken over yeah because we in 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 um in africa even some part of india people used to meet in the evening mm -hmm. and, and they talk yes i i read a book you by talk. elizabeth gilbert mm -hmm. that he said she said that in some uh, i think it was brazil you know where the monks are people sit in the evening and mm. everybody shares their problems mm. everybody tells everybody what is happening now me i'll sit with my fellow women i tell them what is happening you you sit are you me. talking or you are gossiping no 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 we tell the actual problems i say the women and they meet <laughs> no and you yeah. when you meet, meet your boys men, yeah. yeah this is some and part of africa where it is i mean uh, i think it's in south america where they found that they abuse there the love there was more they found that the love was more because people came together mm -hmm. as a community people came together to talk you can call someone on phone we had ways that worked for us to relieve the stress to relieve the stress yeah. but now we are here seated in the house crumbled and and we are going through something we don't want to tell anyone can you imagine then you you, you just mm -hmm. commit suicide mm -hmm. so let us seek this help lilian i'm going to get the book um we have to distinguish mental illness it ranges from anxiety to bipolar to depression yeah those need, are all, um, yeah but it's good for us to look at abuse as a big broad thing it, abuse just doesn't it just doesn't start it is something that we've that grown start, up start, with yeah. since you were born and you carry it on to adulthood and it gets to a point that you must seek professional help you are not just going to do it by yourself mm. and and think that oh you know what um, i got this there is nothing like i got this yeah so i think uh, as we said before for mm. most of us who are and most of the people in the show are from kenya or grew up in kenya where the verbal abuse was there and we kind of like took it as normal normal yeah mm -hmm. and we don't know that we actually carried it on mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it came out mm -hmm. the verbal physical eventually you are here and you may start abusing your kids. Yeah. And in the US is a different, it's a different ball game. Mm -hmm. They will take it a, a whole different way. Yeah. The physical abuse is the same thing. In fact, here when you start hitting your kids, those guys will be at the door. Before you know it, your kids are gone. The other part if we, we didn't cover is neglect. Neglect, abuse comes with neglect. Mm. Do you know if any if most of you have been working, you don't have time for your kids? Mm. That's neglect. If you are a man, oh, okay. you are always uh, going out with your friends every weekend. Mm -hmm. That is neglect. Neglect, which now ends up being an abuse. Yes. To the to the family, mm -hmm. to the kids, and to you. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. Mm -hmm. Wow. Led to her niece killing herself. That's right. That is sad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 I wish I could, um, I'm probably going to try to share that video. Mm. That kid was eight years old, mm. ended up uh, hanging himself mm -hmm. because of something so small where the parents said no. But I think for, because we want our families to be successful, we want our families to be happy, mm -hmm. we all want to agree that it's good to seek professional help and let us learn to differentiate uh, between and abuse abuse and uh, things that you just say to yes, the kids you know yes. words the words that come out of your mouth you can either make or break people yeah and be is i mean be mindful let me read these things again because i think they're very important yeah we're gonna she's going to read the quotes the when you're alone the six quotes again when you're very alone important. mind your thoughts okay when you're with friends mm. mind your tongue when you are angry, mm -hmm. mind your temper. When you are in a group, mind your behavior. When you are in trouble, mind your emotions. When God starts blessing you, mind your ego. Mind your ego. Don't start feeling cute. <laughs> For those ones who told me I'm cute, thank you. Did anybody tell me I'm cute? Let me see. I'm going to scroll, <laughs> scroll back. Shame, but tell them you're fine. 
Yeah. Everyone, thanks for being I'm, with I'm us. I'm on factory reset for the next uh, three weeks. Yeah. Dignity mental. We have to dignify mental. Yes. Therapy is very important. Mm. I don't know what we're going to talk about next week before we pray. Um, I mean, let the viewers come up with a topic. No, Can that... you guys come up with a topic for next week? Today was abuse. Mm. We talked about verbal abuse, physical abuse, words that hurt, parents, friends, siblings. Mary um, Mongina. In fact, Mary, Mary is always here. Mary, I'm going to... You are, she's going to be the t-shirts are not ready but i'm going to well yeah because shipping. because of the covid we can't ship them out right now we no ship. we can't they, they we can't, can't print ship. they can't print okay yeah but i'm going to get them you'll get them soon so mary inbox me um i think today i'm going to start shipping my goodies to my customers <laughs> my regulars thanks for so watching. what's what's the topic for next week we don't know i don't now. know if well, they can we'll come us. up with something mm. the, the frequent friars <laughs> Frequent friars, please come on board and tell us what uh, you think we should uh, touch on next week. But we like all of you guys to participate also. Um, but now, did we, did we finalize and say uh, what was the actual abuse and, or not? No, it was abuse. Yeah. It was abuse. What happened? Oh, oh somebody sent me a picture. Yeah. Oh. Guys, hold on a second. There. That's it. Yes, I'm sending Mary a, a t-shirt. A dashiki shirt. Give me uh, your size. I think I'll start giving the dashiki shirts for now. For frequent fryers until the t-shirts uh, are ready. Like who? Mary Mongina, she's always here. I always <laughs> see her here. <laughs> Um, what about Mudiani? Where Mudiani? Kazi ah, Mudiani. <laughs> we are waiting for one of the faithful followers to tell us a nice topic that we are going to talk about next week. Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Lillian, today have very good points. Thank she you. Came later, Thank you for your points. Job. Yeah, but you know she it's came not, on it's, time. It's not an that easy point, topic. Yeah. That point of topic. family therapy is very good. Yeah. Everybody needs some therapy, you know? And for me, I think it's, it's just like works like magic. Mm -hmm. Because if somebody gives you guidelines how you're going to deal with a certain situation, mm -hmm. especially when somebody's annoying you, you know, you, you have to really, like, you really get annoyed. Can you imagine the way I like sleeping and then you, <laughs> snatch, <laughs> you snatch my blanket from me? <laughs> if it's too cold, you whoop. I just, in yes. a yeah, guys, all right, so... Oh, wow, Rose is saying parents and adolescents. We talked about that the very first time. It was dating. Yeah, so that was more of a... Yeah, the mm. first topic. Yeah. Was it? No, we were talking about dating, courting. Children, I think she means. Um, yeah, maybe we can talk Ro about Rose, parents and adolescents. I, we want to understand this so we can uh, do our... Our homework. research yeah. and our homework. Uh, when you say about parents and adolescents, it, is it, um, maybe we'll invite our kids. Oh, you know what, maybe next Sydney. week. Sydney! Yeah. Come. We invite, uh, hold up. This thing. Let me ask Sydney. Yeah. We're nearly done. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. Dealing with adolescents in the house. Oh, the What's going on? Come, come here, come here. One, come here. They need the real time. Yeah, the real time. <laughs> These are the kids. Yeah, I was sleeping. Yeah, it's okay. No it's okay. Uh, These are our two... Uh, two the noisemakers. Yeah. The ones so who like to week, touch everything. Oh, there's that. <laughs> okay. Next week... Oh, uh, they, they say talk about having grown, grown kids, kids in, in the house. house. Yeah. Oh, yeah okay. So this one, my like, yeah. grown... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about so that. So next week, we want to ask you guys where the viewers are here. Are you guys to, going to help us talk about... Um, having grown... Adolescents. Having okay. grown kids in the house. Well, this one is what do you grown. mean? How okay. Can you talk about okay, kids? let's see how you're going to talk about this. Okay. We are going to come oh, here. You guys are going to come with us. Okay, the way you're here now. And tell us the do's and don'ts. The pros No, and you know what? For yeah. them, here's the best topic. Abu, no, no, yeah. No, but pros listen. And cons. Yeah. Pros and cons. But to them is, uh, you said uh, grown kids in the house, especially with African parents. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. She, they, see, you already know Because they already told us 
The African like, parents. I don't get it. Yeah. No. Pros so you guys cons. are going to talk about the pros and cons of having grown kids. And mm-hmm. what are we going to talk about? No, it's not us. That's why I told you that it wouldn't be me and you talking. That doesn't mean See, So we'll have the, the kids them talk. talk to us. About what? About... Living? Me, just me, us living? You, you guys are Americans or Kenyans. Kenyan, but mom, African Americans. But mom, if you read yeah. the question, it mm-hmm. says talk about having grown kids in the house. So that's you guys because you have no, 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 no. in the house. Okay. But I think I it's good to it? hear. No, it's Charity is saying hear. and talk about marriage, how to keep it together during COVID. We'll do that next okay. week. But Sydney. Hold well on. Yeah. <laughs> Sydney, mommy, listen to me. Oh is you, Dylan, I don't know if Brandon will be willing to talk. Ryan is still a baby. You come here and have like a discussion of what you guys think. And it's going to be an engage, engaged conversation the same way we are having. So now. so can they can also our viewers, the ones who have kids, have the kids also? Yeah, participate. So, participate, yeah. yeah. So bring So bring you guys kids. are going to put up. Oh, you're gonna show. request to request? Is this Instagram? No, no, this is a. Uh, oh, oh, you can't. Can do oh, that. you can't request. No, you can. Like you know when you request and then they come in like say yeah kids yeah no they, yeah they, they have they have oh, they it. have brought it back here yeah. yeah. So dad, can you try oh. to do a request to see if you come in? I'm so so, so you we're guys, gonna talk about. Mm-hmm. Just in general, like, like the way you were talking about uh, how yeah how you view parents, especially um what do you think immigrant parents here in the US, okay. Oh, that's what, that's but what even some about. things they talk about are also applicable in Kenya. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So that means that's we're talking about parents, and mm-hmm. they're gonna talk about us. Yeah, because we're gonna talk about having grown yeah, because... kids in the house. Yep. Okay. <laughs> All right. Being, oh, talk look. about American kids. American kids with Kenyan parents. Kenyan parents. Yeah, that, that one we've already been. That one I can make an essay. <laughs> so. And I'll submit it. We'll talk about we'll talk about <laughs> that. Yeah. No, but Cindy, you guys well, have to do your homework. That's part you, of it. Yeah. You, you highlight yeah. the points and then command. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you like saying it every time we're saying nyamachoma nyamachoma. Yeah. Karen said your likes and dislikes. Yeah. All right. So that's a good. Topic oh, she said, Cindy, yeah. you got it. Oh, yeah. That's what Rose. Rose is the one who brought the okay. topic. Cindy, she so, said well, you got it. Yeah, right. because we're not um, parents, so we no, can't no, talk no, about your kids. No, you, you'll talk yeah. about us. You, you, and you guys will talk about us. Yeah. Yes. And even now, Cindy, you guys are, are even more smart. You can compare to our like our time, like when Grandma raised me. I'm raising you now. Like the changes in in some of the things that we do like that you guys think we can work on. You know things like that. Because yes, you know you, you you guys are moving from one generation to another generation. Can you? Huh? I was saying the glasses. Oh, no, I'm cute. They're sticking out. They're standing out. My red glasses? Yes. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm cute. So, as you can see, your views went up. Ten to fifteen people. <laughs> and by the way, bring me my flowers. There, I show them. It was at 52. Go bring the flowers. My daughter. Oh, yeah. This so is my we'll, daughter. We'll, we'll talk about that. Oh, got me flowers. <gasps> so, Sydney, yeah. in your points, how I used to tell you, yeah, I don't, I don't I got, want gifts, I want is this the one? good news. I snuck out the house, guys. I didn't tell nobody I was leaving. Yeah. I went to, to bring me the flowers. I went through the back yeah, door because I knew the doors cracked. They'd be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have to ask, especially during this COVID where we, everybody has to ask. Where are you like, going? Maybe my chocolate. Yeah. Somebody, chocolate. Somebody got a. Flower. I got these flowers oh, from my daughter. Mm. Wow. Oh, Ooh. baby boy, I got it. I can't, it. I can't wait for Father's Day. Ooh. Dad, what are you going to get for us? I don't know. I'll that's, be surprised. What kids. you wish parents okay. understood yeah. about kids. Sydney, look. Come mm-hmm. around. They are giving y'all. you guys oh. topics. Are you going to save this video? Are you, yeah. you going to yeah. write the question? Yeah. No, I will save it. I don't remember. This. Oh, I got baby, I got chocolates. two. I didn't get one. Okay. Are one. you giving the no, husband? One. No. Oh, you're See, now the Kenyan parents. No. Uh, you should involve. Oh, I don't think that's. It. Oh, grandma is not feeling oh, well. Oh yeah, so mother. Oh. Yeah. So, Sydney, um, um, the viewers are thirty-six. Write what you want our kids. Sydney is eighteen. Oh, there's my baby. And Ryan, Dylan is uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Ryan, come say hi. I'm sixteen. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Dylan is fifteen. This. Dylan is fifteen. Turning, but Dylan 16. has very good points. I'm, I'm turning nineteen. Come, come you know this the way. vibes. Come to sit in the middle. Oh, somebody loves you there, Sydney. Yeah. 
Hi. Say hi. Say hi, Irene. Irene. Love you too. Yeah. Benny and chocolate, yeah. Oh, let me tell you. Hi. This but chocolate, that, I'm not even lying. I'm going to eat it for like six months. I'll be taking a bite and I hide it. And, then I, she, and I know it. where it is, so I go and no, eat. No, I'm the, changing my spot. And then he ate the whole thing. And then what happens? <laughs> and then I'm going to buy this one. And then I go buy another one. one. Wait, yeah, actually, what? when is Father's Day? It's coming June. on. I think it's like July or something. So, All right, so are we, we, we are good with the, with the topic for next week. So you guys are going no. to write the lady Don't said... Me. Why? I already remember. Um, the one, the last. Yeah. I, I remember. What do you want? You they all asked the same thing, and then they said, um. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you. What you wish your parents understood about you kids. Yeah. Um, Bye, Ryan. No. Let the kids And, and then oh. you can also. Oh no, that's the same thing. You can also, because you guys have been to Kenya, you can also talk about going to Kenya, your experiences, what you think. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. So next week the show is yours, you guys. All right. Okay, let's end this. Ah, uh, see me. <laughs> Bye. Let's end our show. This is good. Bye. You already opened the chocolate? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need chocolate. Itakulwa. For my daughter. Pole pole. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Usually hide it. In fact, this time it's going to the safe. <laughs> For those who like my headgear, thank you. This but is a simple way to stay. Sweetie, reduce the volume. Bring, bring it back. Hey, hey, bring it back. No, come. Okay, guys, we're, we're done. Gonna, we're <laughs> making a YouTube channel soon. So, mm -hmm. Oh, snap. So, um, <laughs> what is that? What are you saying? Yeah. Ah! Make your YouTube channel. Tell them we're making a YouTube channel soon. So, so next week, when you come with it, come with the link. Oh no, mom. no! Of course, that's the only way. Go ahead. Well, the, it's gonna be all of us on there. Mm -hmm. Well, mostly me and Dylan, but mm -hmm. if they want to join, no, you just subscribe. They can. You all right. Oh, that's subscribe. my. Bye. 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 Okay. Okay, guys, we're done. So let's. We are um, more than an hour. That chocolate. Uh, it's mine. Somebody say hi, Ryan. Hi. Okay, bye. Let's hi say. and bye. Bye. Let's say the lost prayer. Oh, yeah. That's what I pray. You want to say the lost prayer, yes? Yeah, come. Come say the Lord's Quickly. prayer. Let's jump in here. Say the Lord's prayer. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Yep. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. From the tempers. Like, from the tempers. Like our page, share from the abuse. Mm -hmm. And follow us on our Facebook page. Thank you guys so much. And please, let's practice what we, what we preach. Mm -hmm. Thank you.